So have you ever put it on the menu yourself for uh, Sats? No, because I'm not a massive fan of it, to be honest. But like you said, I'm really looking forward to this. Yeah? Because it just sounds so, so different, you know what I mean? We'll find out later whether Glynn can change Sat's mind about Pike, but he knows it's a gamble. I mean, it was a bit of a risk, to be honest with you, yeah. in saying I'm going to do Pike. But I thought to myself, oh, wow, well, I might as well sit the old nuts on the line. <laughs> Pike used to be a popular fish in Britain, so the judges may like Glynn bringing it back as a 21st century Japanese brummy fusion dish. But it's not to everyone's taste, including Sat's. And he's gone for the safer option of monkfish. It's a sea fish, and he wants it really fresh. It's 6.30 in the morning, and Sat travelled northeast to one of the most important fish markets in Europe, Grimsby. His aim at this ungodly hour? To find some fresh monkfish at a bargain price. Ready to uh, outbid the locals now, so... Uh... Just get my regalia on and start the bidding war. To help him in his quest, Sat met up with Graham Kay, who's been working in the fish trade since he was 12 years old. So he should know a thing or two by now. So, Graham, I'm here today to get some monkfish cheeks. Right. So, no how do I go about it? Well, first of all, the auction will start at 7 o'clock. Yep. The sales of the haddocks will go first. Monkfish is further along, which we'll come to, yep. and we'll buy it from there. Brilliant. Here's your monkfish. Oh, lovely. I think it's fascinating to come down here and actually pick out your own fish. That's great. Yeah, 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 yeah. 250, 55, 65, 270, Does it ever get heated here, Graham? It sounds a bit chaotic. It always gets heated, especially when there's a short market and there's people running around like Wilf. <laughs> 10, if you're watching the salesman now, he's watching everybody's eyes. It's very important. He'll have bids, nods, winks, anything. Yeah, yeah, no, no one's even moving then. No, no one's moving. But he knows exactly who's bought the what fish. I'm a bit nervous now. Monkfish coming up. I hope they realise I just want the cheeks. Now, Sat's quite a big man, but he's way out of his depth here. To these seasoned traders, he's just small fry. I hope he knows what he's doing. He could be buying a truckload here. Let's get him on. Have I done all right? I think I went a bit crazy. Yeah, we got carried away a bit. The price should have been about 350 to 4 quid a kilo. And how much did we pay? You've paid 780. You're joking. Yeah, just a little bit too much. I'm sorry about that. So Sat lost the plot a bit, but at least he's supporting the British fish industry. You've got to give it to him. He's a game guy. He'll give anything a go. You're obviously used to seeing me look stupid, so I'm not going to disappoint you. So obviously, just in case one of my extremely long hairs goes onto the product. Is this the uh, monkfish that I overbid for? How was the monkfish on the market this morning? Yeah, massive, isn't it? He's going to cut the cheeks out for you now. Look at that, eh? They're lovely, aren't they? Nice and silky. Yeah. Nice piece of meat, though. No one really uses them, did they, really? Sold ma mainly in the export. Spanish market goes mad for them. Yeah. I'll take about 20 of them, please. 20 kilos or 20 <laughs> number? It's a monster, isn't it? Yeah. Not the most prettiest fish. But no. one of the most delicious. You certainly all like to get your hand inside there, the sharp fish. It actually looks a little bit like Glenn. Gobby. 